Barbie Nadeau is in Giglio and she joins us live now. So Barbie, this is taken longer than expected. When will this ship be raised? Well, that's a good question. They're saying it's possibly going to be up right by dawn, but we don't know. You know, they told us initially this this would take place in the in the realm of, of a 12-hour day. We've gone past that by by several hours now. Of course, it was delayed due to a torrential rainstorm last night, and the the salvage operators ran into a little glitch when one of the cables had some slack in it. They needed to stop the operation or slow it down to the best they could and fix that problem. So they lost an hour in that too. Right now, though, we've seen the ship moving very slowly all day. Right now though you're really seeing a, a, a bigger increment you know we've been watching the line that's been underwater uh, for the last 20 months it's just sort of a we've been calling it a scum line is basically what it is this is just the mess of that ship that's been underwater the you know the paint's peeling off and it's just very very dirty we've been watching that we've also been watching some lawn uh, chairs some deck chairs on the top of the ship which we now can't see because that ship has sort of reached the crest where you can't see the top of the ship as clearly as you could earlier so it's been a very long day, though, the long day of anticipation. People, especially the people in this town of Giglio, have, have really, really, uh, they believe, paid a price for this uh, the accident by the, the Costa Crociere company owned by Carnival in the United States, and they're ready for this ship to go. After a rocky start, the Costa Concordia is on a roll. Twelve salvage operators entered a prefabricated control room on a barge in front of the crippled ship to begin an unprecedented salvage operation, one like no one has ever seen. The news media has lined the port and sightseers have lined the hillsides to watch the show. This 114,000 ton vessel filled with a toxic brew of chemicals and rotten food is being parbuckled, essentially rotated from the rocks of Giglio onto a giant underwater platforms. From there, it will eventually be refloated to a port to be dismantled. The Costa Cruise Company has paid about $800 million for this operation to right the ship. The people of Giglio have paid a far higher price. For them, this ship has marred the view and altered their way of life forever. It has changed it completely, actually, because before uh, this island was not really well known uh, worldwide. Actually, it was not known at all. And uh, because of this tragedy, everything changed, really. It has taken more than a year, what seemed like an eternity for many, to get this ship ready to roll upright. Uh, we have to, to understand that we are handling very, very high low. But now it's taking a bit longer, but for us it's not a delay. It is very acceptable. It is moving so slowly that the only way to mark its movements is to watch the line of scum on the ship get higher and higher. It took more than eight hours for the ship to rotate 10 degrees. When it hits 20 degrees, that will be the moment of truth. And that's when salvage operators can do nothing but hope that their plans were right. If all goes well, the ship will be uprighted before dawn Tuesday, lit up like a giant carnival on the water. Then the salvage crews will fix the broken side and refloat it sometime next spring. And then the people of Giglio can finally have their island back. You know, this, the, the ship has now reached this crucial 20 degree mark. It is really up to gravity and whether or not these salvage operators are able to keep the ship afloat by the use of these large flotation canisters, these huge 10-story boxes that will fill with water as the ship goes down. They've only got compressed air uh, to push into those boxes to try to control the level of water, and that will add the buoyancy that's needed to slow the force of gravity, Patricia.